Downtown, no see you guys. Hey, sir. Good How you doing? You. This is uh, this is uh, Venice B V11. Oh, hey, man. Peter, Peter Steves. Nice. Well, I Peter. Thank you, man. Good to see you. What's your name? Jeremy. Wow, how you doing? Wow. Hi. How you doing? Wow. So, I'm, I'm glad you guys are back. You know, it's good to be back. I wish we were back for better reasons. Uh, you know, Venice has always had issues, but it's been a little quieter than it used to be for us anyways. All of a sudden, the you know, giant eruption, giant problem. We said, all right, we've spent too much time away. We've got to come back. Summertime. So it always gets, yeah, the, the weather gets better. And the behavior gets worse. Well, you know, the thing that we've noticed down here is that, and you know, the uh, the police officers down here certainly agree, um, the summer crowd never ended. You know, normally they, they have extra officers for the summer, yeah. but the crowds this year in the wintertime never stopped. Didn't slow down. Not, not one Drum bit. Drum circle troubles. Constantly. Yep. Like more than ever. We used to come down and there were some drum, you know, there were a lot of drum circles forever, but it wasn't, other than the noise, it wasn't a problem. Uh, that's circle. bold anyways. I, yeah. just, I just to well, have someone want to go do that, that's a lot of trouble. Well, it's, you know, open containers, lots of drugs, open narcotics deals. And the worst thing that I saw was uh, a blanket on the sand with a bunch of drums. And I didn't even see it. I, I took the picture. And then later. Just it was co colors. <laughs> There's a baby in like a little snowsuit just laying in the middle of the blanket. And nobody was around. Oh, like wow. a little tiny baby. So... Fairly well camouflaged. Yeah. <laughs> but but no, that's not, that's not good behavior, though. Yeah, parents were there drinking and smoking weed with their kids all around. You know, it's just uh, not uh, a real Yeah, and fun. model behavior hasn't really been the goal of the Venice for a while now. Exactly. Uh, How is uh, uh, Curtis Leeward doing? You know, Curtis is doing great. He had a, a, a major health issue recently to take care of, had a surgery. Uh, but all the reports we've gotten in, he's doing really, really, really well. Thanks for asking. I hope so. Yeah. And he's a pretty strong guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, mafia can't keep them down. You know, the doctors got out. You know, <laughs> they can't get, they can't do worse than that. Yeah, he's doing great. So when you guys go around in the neighborhood, like uh, I got the email from you, you said that you guys great. have been focusing in Hollywood a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, we've been in Hollywood a lot more. What, what's your approach when you when you walk down the boardwalk or you walk in an area and you you? What are the type of things you see, and then what are the type of things you do? Uh, well, neighborhood to neighborhood, totally different response, I would say. Like, we haven't been in Venice for, I don't know, a year. I think we've been in Hollywood so much, or in Pasadena so much. And we just reminded, we walked down to Venice, and the entire way down here, even just now, was, was completely different from what they get in Pasadena, rather different from what we get in Hollywood. Uh, in Hollywood, there's a mix of people that sort of know, oh, those guys are going to break up the fights, don't be stupid, they'll stop the stupid. Uh, Pasadena seems there's a, a good community response going on. I, I haven't been out there, you guys have been out there a lot. Uh, but Venice? Every now and then there's someone who says, Oh, you guys, I love you guys, thanks for being out here. And then the other 99% of the time, it's like we came to, to destroy their homes or something. It's not, it's not why we're there. Right. But Venice really has a really mostly hate, love hate relationship with the Guardian Angels. We're looking to turn that back around. Yeah, it's very, very combative atmosphere. It is, it's funny. It got, a few blocks in, you go to the promenade, and 99% of the people that you see think, oh, you guys, I've heard of you guys, it's good to meet you guys, I'm glad you're doing this, how's Curtis? You walk four blocks this way, uh, it's a different planet. I mean, it's not even Who are you? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we, of course, we get the funniest responses anyways. Like, oh, you guys, you're a Russian mafia, or whatever it is. Uh, you know, pizza delivery, I don't know. But, you know, Venice is really an aggressive spot. And I'm not. Su I'm unpleasantly surprised. But I'm not surprised that there was some rough, some rough times here recently. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's been a real challenge. And, you know, part of the reason we started doing what we were doing is a lot of people don't do anything now because it's just easier not it's to. Much easier. You know, it's just easier to just turn your head. And yeah, walk no, I was away. really excited when I saw the whole Venice 311. That's fantastic. And you know, it's it's. The, the primary focus of the entire initiative is this is your neighborhood and it's graffiti it's it's all these little tiny things that let us know and, and we'll help with that but you know the majority of the calls that we do get that people are you know afraid to call about is the homeless issues the homeless issues I mean, the RV thing is sort of not really gone past with being ignored again 
together pedestrians and bicycles and get rid of the cars usually that's a great equation for safety for better business everything goes up this is the only place I've ever seen this and it's kind of an anomaly you put all these people walking around together riding bikes together and there's still aggression yeah. I, I don't know what there is about that I know I read a report last night about someone who just down the street first time they ever 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 forgot to lock their door someone was coming in at night so they're watching that closely, looking yeah. for problems, really? You know, we actually um, asked the, the, there's been an increase in hot prowls around here. We asked, you know, the police department, I'm like, how are they so efficient yeah. doing this? And they said, and how is it so hard to stop them? <laughs> here, here's what they do. The, the, you know, the, the beach sergeant said that, um, you know, they'll just walk around homes and they'll look for a win window in the morning, yeah. five, six, seven o'clock in the morning if the window's open. And, you know, they'll pretend to be looking for bottles or, or cans or whatever, rummaging through the trash. And then they'll wait until 9 o'clock when the people leave for work. They know they're going to be stuck in traffic, and that's when they hit the house. Yep. You know, and they'll do the same thing at night. They'll look for open windows and just wait for the people to leave in the morning and then go hit the house. It's like, and, you know, they're... they're it's pro yeah, proactive, but totally backwards. Yeah. As, as backwards as you can make it. And I don't know what it will take to get everybody's mind turned around but at least the more folks that are doing what you're doing doing what are doing and what we're doing at least there's some role model for oh i can be active in my community in a good way well you know the the bummer thing about it is that a lot of people in venice take the tact that 
you're violating my rights, you're trying to take my rights away, like when they, they see LAPD or you got or sure. anybody who's trying to enforce any oh, the rule, man. Yeah. It's, yeah, the it's, authority. You know, I came down here to be free and do what I want and you're, you know, putting the, the Jones on my stove. And you can still <laughs> be free and That's pretty great. much do whatever you want, just, you know, don't drink in public. Or, uh, or don't cause a problem with it. You know, I really... Uh, if you're infringing on somebody else's opportunity to have those same rights, that's when it's a problem. Yeah. And we, we do have plenty of dumb laws. It's true. We, we have bad authority issues. We have people that abuse power. It's absolutely all true. But it doesn't mean that everybody who's trying to lend a hand is a bad guy yeah. or a bad girl. Yeah. And you know, how are you from? I'm from here. What is your name? Mark. Yeah. Angel? What are you? What? Oh. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel? Yeah. They're very good. Yeah. Oh yeah? And then end the stop. No, 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 no. Never mind. Where are you from? Here. Down in Angel. Phone call? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Down, yeah. down here? Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you do need everyone to think that they are part of a community and actually contribute to it on purpose, so it's true. People are down here doing business, not all legal business, and definitely not all contri you know, contributing to the local economy type of, type of way. Yeah, you know, one one of the saddest conflicts in Venice isn't with the people who um, come here to visit or that are just... be the next call. We got the time. We'll do it. <laughs> it's true. We've been down here just after closing and it, it's this sudden ghost town and all you don't you don't get tumbleweeds, you get Dorito bags. <laughs> you know, it's like well, what is this? The tumbleweed would be kinda cool. <laughs> Can you import some tumbleweeds? You know, I uh, I got a ma an email last night, somebody reported um, at eleven thirty this guy uh, sent us a message and said he lives in the brand new townhouses down on Thornton Lofts, down by Thornton and Oceanfront Walk. Okay. And he said, you know, the kids are all camped out in front of American Apparel. They've got a boom box. And every time the police I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. drive down the boardwalk, they can see him coming. Yeah. So, you know, he called the police and, you know, they see him coming. So they turn everything down and they look like perfect little, little angels. angels. The wrong angels. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> call back and explain the situation to the to the police because all this guy knows is he's trying to go to sleep. Right. So, said, hey, you know, park on Speedway, maybe walk around and re and you'll see what these guys are doing. And that's what they did and they, they got him out of there, you know, but it's right. just like these little details that, you know, these people are smart. They're here to evade the law. They're here to oh, evade sure. responsibility. Great, great vantage so. point. This is one of the most brilliant places you can come to commit crimes. Yeah. Wow. So many ways to get away, too. Uh, get away any well, almost any direction if you're a good swimmer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. You have a great vantage point. You have, all you need is... Plus, obviously, there's now... People are using the technology the wrong way. Yeah. Texting each other, tweeting each other, tweeting each other. Oh, hey. You can now go around Speedway on the coming. Totally backwards. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think I'm glad to see that there's more people being proactive in a good way in the community. That's exactly what it all takes. Well, people are into it. We, you know, when, when people message us directly, we say, hey, look, here's a text message number if anything's happening. Just send us a text message and we'll at least try and get some place and get a picture or, yeah. or get something right this away. You know, we can, we, let's figure out a way to liaison between our group and yours. We'll try to spend more time down here. It obviously is not a bad place for us to spend time. Um, whether we're passing out some 311 info or vice versa, get some Guardian Angels info out there. Let's, let's let people know what they can do to help out. Yeah, and you know, our, our big issue down here right now is the drum circle. It's like, we're just trying to deal with it. So. And other than noise, 
what are you what are you running into? Narcotic sales, open containers, glass containers on the beach, pets, children. You know, it's uh, it's, it's just like the, the, oh. the wrong environment for uh, for families. And uh, thank you. So, you know, it's there. Let's just say every, just about everything else that's going on in the drum circle be, besides drumming, somebody could be <laughs> there taken is some in jail going on. Yeah, yeah. There, there is some drumming going on. If you're not busy else, doing this, and maybe if you are, it's yeah. <laughs> probably a crime going and, on. And, you know, the last, uh, last couple of weeks when the drum circle is dispersed, I mean, there, there's been violence. Yeah. Tony was there, couldn't get from one fight to another fast enough. Yep. They had police scrimmage lines. Cops in riot gear. They'd calm one one place down, and you know the the radio would go off and go. Yeah, Speedway well, we have in Hollywood. Clubhouse, you know. Sure, sure. It's just, it's, this is so expansive. Yeah. And and at least we're not running through sand in Hollywood. This is this is a whole new challenge. This, yeah. is, this is something difficult. This is where this, we need bikes. It, it all yeah. happens on right here on Ocean Front. Yep. And you know they could just split down the alley really fast, and they're in the wind. So. Well, yeah, walking patrol in Venice, I don't know. It's not, well, you right almost now, have you to have some kind you of You couldn't wheels. get a bicycle through there, though. Well, you put some lights on it, trust me, don't move. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, in the summer, you can't, there's, you can almost see the sign, there's no bikes on the boardwalk at all. Right. Um, you know, and, and walking patrols are effective, but... Uh, they can't get from point A to B fast enough. Yeah, even with... But you can go right down the, the alleys. And, there, that's where we used to act. That's where we like spending a lot of our time is the alleyways. And this is this is good for FaceTime and saying, hey, we are in the neighborhood. But the alleyways are certainly going to be more interesting in any anywhere, even in Hollywood. Well, it's mostly, you know, when, when the sun goes down, that's where the trouble is. Yeah. All the open container guys sure. hang in the alley. But uh, I think we've got to figure out from... What is it, Venice PD or LAPD Venice Division? Yeah. Uh, what uh, what they want us to take care of and what they want us to ignore. Because like Peter said earlier, each city has their own different rules on what they want us to take care of. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are places that know, hey, this is the biggest problem, let's work on that. Yeah. And it'd be great to, to stop everything and have everybody be happy and everybody be compliant and helpful and happy. But it's yeah, like you, you can't just do that? You can't just do I that? I keep trying. The, the thing is, LAPD won't take them. Yeah. You know? Well, it's, it's too so overwhelming. Like, like it we, is. We, we can get Woo, people for it, you know? It's in public, open containers. But LAPD and Hollywood has so many bigger problems. That, yeah, quite honestly, if you stop everyone who's urinating in public on Hollywood Boulevard, jail will be full all night. Yeah. Russia? And never well, mind. Even if you could just stop them. That, that's what we try. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hey, hey, hey. Like, oh, really? Actually, unfortunately, the people down there <laughs> really love the attention. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really, uh, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. seem to enjoy the spectacle. So, yeah, we, we would have to talk to them and see if they want us to you know, deal with the open containers at the drum circle. You know. Well, yeah, of course, what, what the drugs. Yeah. Like, is smoking weed really a crime anymore? Well, it, it, yeah, I mean, it has been officially kind of moved down on priority list. Yeah. It used to be you're smoking weed, you're getting at least a ticket. Now, I see cops you know, just drive by. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah, pull some off the street for two hours. You know, they got to realize. You know. I mean, there's there's a schedule down here. They, they know what <laughs> starts happening. Yeah. It's time to move the vendors out. The yeah. circle shuts I think, uh, down. Uh, uh, That's predictable. But still crazy. How can it be predictable and still crazy? It's just because... The, Welcome the, to Venice. The predictability is that it's going to be crazy. It's just what level of crazy... <laughs> Defcon 1, 2, or 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just pick your favorite. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. What time? So how long are you guys down here? Uh, you know, we fought through amazing amounts of parking problems, yeah. uh, and now we'll be here as long as we need to be. Really, it's hard to gauge. When the sun goes down, most of the, the good people tend to just disappear. I'm not here. No, well, not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's amazing. If you go down to the drum circle today, now the drum circle technically shuts down when the sun sets, but as as it gets darker, you just see the these just 
people just start crawling in the, the drum circle just gets bigger the darker it gets because it's like under the cloak of night yeah you know but uh it's those aren't necessarily the makes it good difficult. folks <laughs> yeah. About. yeah no a lot of the tourists are smart enough to, to disappear disappear <laughs> play the houdini act um not everybody yeah. obviously i have a question sir how many people do you think uh thinking that she's in trouble <laughs> just the way that they're looking you know and how many of them would be right you see she is trouble i can see <laughs> <He's handcuffed there. laughs> no I'm, I'm really glad you're down here doing what you're doing it's great yeah well when when tony said you guys were going to come down i was thrilled and you know it's i know the police are down here they have their job and you know they're extremely busy they're Guardian Extremely Angels have effective. a fantastic opportunity to be an influence and a, and a bit of an aggressive influence at times, but without being only that. There, there is luckily this sense built up that we are just regular folks just trying to help out. Yeah. Like somehow you put on that police uniform and everyone knows, yeah. oh, you can also give me a parking ticket, a speeding ticket, Bye. open Bye. Container, all and all these find problems. find out whether I have a warrant or not. Yeah, <laughs> and they realize it's only aggressive and only antagonistic. And we don't have to have that rapport with people. It's, it's a little bit of an easier, lower barrier to entry. We can have a conversation, and they know, some of them know, that these guys aren't necessarily just busting my chops to bust them. Yeah. Yeah. And the police sometimes have to. Yeah, you know, another, another big challenge down here on the boardwalk is people are not supposed to be on the boardwalk after 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. So... Uh, a lot of the, the homeless no, the guy, uh, folks know that the more stuff they have with them, yeah. oh, well. the police need to arrest them and to take all it's that stuff. It's going to be all them. that work. Yeah, yeah. everything. Is, so they just carry around tons of stuff. But they do have to move them off the boardwalk. And it's, it's become a, a low priority now because so much other stuff is going on. And, you know, they just camp out. That's just kind and, of and there's the humanitarian side that you don't want to go harass people that are already down in their luck, and I understand that. It, just, it does cascade into other problems, and that's, that's what they're facing. Yeah, it's tough. I love this bike. Yeah, Manny's lowriders. Love Manny. been here in quite some time. Yeah, I think we've talked like two years ago. Yeah, it really yeah, has been about that long. And then we got to talking and then got to talking and said, you know, it'd be nice to have a little more FaceTime too. We can do it to help support. Um, so by all means, if he said, hey, this is what would be best, this is what would be worst, do this, don't do that. I would love to hear more than what you're needing these days or not. Yeah, you know, we're, we discussed it with our, our command staff, so we're kind of mulling it over right now. Okay, we'll, great. Once we... Uh, with them exactly what, uh, what role we'd like you to play in down here. That sounds perfect. Awesome. Um, good. All right. We're going to go take a look at the drum circle and see what's going on. How, do you know how big it is today? Is Alex's number one? Yes. Thank you very much, sir.
shows and have from the boardwalk on the weekends. Uh, and as with many <laughs> neighborhood councils, well, they like about. walking their dogs on the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, sure. So they said no. But it's really a problem because it's a giant pit bulls, huge chains. And there's kids running around everywhere. You see this kind of crowd. Yeah, yeah, you see there's dogs bigger than the, the people. Yeah, and if you were a dog down here, would you feel threatened? You know, like yeah, right. In a crazy crowd of people. Yeah, it's, it's just, there's lunch everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the happiest thing down here is a, is a big hungry dog. He's just looking around at lunch. Yeah. You know, it's like a issues at some of these spots. Yeah. Right, they just seem to be the hang up for the, the folks that you don't want your kids hanging out with. It's uh, uh, drug dealing hot spots are all the pagodas. Huh? You see the drugs, you see the, the, the open drinking, you see the, just the playing around all things, yelling out to people. I don't know why, why you'd have this beautiful shit. That's a wonderful structure. What a great thing for the city to put up. That's what we're here. And they've really done a good job of making open, accessible space for people to enjoy. Normally, that's exactly what you want. They're like, 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 they're one of the most, he's a very active guy, really active on city council. And he was saying, you know, I want to try to keep the economy moving while you're keeping safety in mind. We were talking about how normally you want this, you want open space, you want pedestrian traffic. And everyone looks at Venice and I don't know. Uh, given it's not to this extent by any means, but Rodeo is open pedestrian traffic. <laughs> yeah. They do a marvelous different, job. Yeah, yeah. Different clientele, too. Very different clientele. I don't know how many uh, thousand dollar go, go yard bags they'd be floating down here. No, well, not for long. Go six months. Somebody might have them. But. Thank you for your service, gentlemen. You're welcome, gentlemen.